So welcome to another video of XML port series and we are looking at the importing and while importing using XML ports the format is so important because the format is what will determine if the file will be valid or not. So the the, the way the file has been created it should be imported in the same format with which it's being created. So we have two formats here. We have a format that will sort of create a field attribute only and another format that will use the field elements. So for the same table, we will use the field attribute and the field element format. Um, and the display will be different. So what I'll do, I've created two XML ports, the simple, same procedure with which we have been creating. And remember that this is a continuous series. So if you haven't watched the previous videos and you'd like to see how to create from scratch, please watch the series, the series from be the beginning up to now. But if you are conversant with creation and you can be able to you understand everything up to now, you can proceed from where we are. And in this video, we'll, we'll just import using the XML format. So the format of this first XML is XML, and we definitely are having this as the um, the the main node. And then, okay, this will be the main node, and it will be having the different attributes. So all these attributes will be aligned. I think it should be XML port. We'll see. We'll see how the attribute will be. Uh, stated so all um, will be having the XML port sample with the attributes. Then this is the root node, and then uh, that's how the file will be created. And for this other one, we'll be having each as an attribute, as an as um, an element or a tag. So the number will be a tag, the description will be a tag, the amount will be a tag. So all the different elements we can achieve uh, the same or similar data with the two XML. Uh, ports, but the format is what will be different. But you, uh, as long as the data is formatted or input in the s uh, required format, we can be able to export and import. So I'll publish this file so that we can now be able to. Um, to see so I have set these two files in uh, in our request page so what will happen is we need to have the files exported first once we have exported them we will modify the exported file and be able to re-import it back so this is the first format and this is the first format will be exported and we do the export okay and then the second we open the file let me export it again expected it to open in visual studio code open file There's no style information to it. I don't know why. So let's export this also first. Then we'll know why it's behaving the way it is behaving. Let's open this one. Okay, the default is <laughs> it's opening in not in Visual Studio Code as expected, but it's opening in a different uh, window. So I'd like to open them in Visual Studio Code. Just a minute. So the two files should be... So here are the two files that we have exported. I have opened them in Visual Studio Code so that we can have a better clarity and we can clearly see the, how different the format is. For the first one, it is in the form of the attribute format where all the values are described as attributes and here they are described as tags so for the purpose of having unique values i'll 
definitely be able to remove these ones and use number 14 here uh, describing number 14 then amount will sort of having some 14 there then we can definitely have maybe 15 and 16 in our file Sixteen, fifteen, sixteen. Change something here, just to give it some uniqueness. All right. So this is the first file that we should now um, import. So we expect to have these files, and then in this other one as well, I'll clear them. up to here the other one we ended at 16 so what we'll do we will end up with uh, 17 18 19 maybe so this will be 17 18 19 so this one you can just basically have 19, 18, and 17. So we'll, we'd like, <laughs> okay, we we'll now, we would now like to re-import them back. So for the ones with this um, node format, we'll basically be having, okay, there is no description here, but what you can do, I didn't say this, We can say number 17. OK. It's giving me some fun descriptions. Number 18. Composite number. And uh, finally, number 19. There's no there's nothing for this. Number 19 is what? Also a prime number. All right, so we have the file filled. Now it's time to to go back and uh, re-import them back. So from our file here, It's time to import. So this is for the first one. The direction remains to be import. And uh, when you go to choose our files, we'll have this one. So this was the first, because it doesn't have the two appended. So we'll open, and uh, it seems to have imported. So we'll do a refresh, and we can see that we are describing number 14, describing number 15, and describing number 16 using that format. So our data has been imported successfully. And into the second file, we will as well do the same, which had the two appended in it. We'll import it and do the same to refresh. And we can see that number 17 is a prime number. Number 18 is a composite number. Number 19 is also a prime number. But if you have many files, you can have a trigger for, OK, we have imported successfully. Or uh, you can have some more options in the request page. But that's how we use the XML form format to import. But we should begin with it because of the formatting. At times, it's not so user friendly, especially if it's directed to users. So, the variable text could be more appropriate because of having to use the Excel, which is easier to format and be able to import the data uh, using your XML files. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. So we will look at the fixed text format in the next uh, 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.